Yes, I'm learning from home today, and it's really fun to see all your friends and teachers on the screen and all. But it gets kind of lonely sometimes, so that's why I've invited a friend over to come study with me. Cool. <sighs> I think that must be the now. Hey, Jimmy, come on in. Oh. <laughs> Coach Rocco, you're coming to school also? Yep. He's super helpful, so I figured I'd bring him along. By the way, are there any cartoons on TV? You guys can get started. Wow, it's really great to have a real teacher over to help us with school. We have some tough science and math homework. Do you think you can help us out? Uh, well, I don't know too much about math or science, but if you have any gym homework or lunch homework, I'm an expert at that. <laughs> oh, today is going to be a long day. Coach Rocco, make yourself at home. I'll make you a cup of your favorite wake-up juice. Oh, good, good. All right, class, and so I'm the teacher. I decided we'd start out with science class first. Well, before we start science class, we should probably fix this sign so it spells correctly. There we go. Forgot the C. Um, well, I did that on purpose. That was your first quiz, and you got an A. <laughs> yes. So today in science class, we're supposed to be learning about what things float and what things sink. Ooh, a water experiment. Sounds cool. But you know be even cooler? There's a new game on Roblox where you build a pirate ship and look for treasure. Ooh, I'm going to go play that now. You guys can work on the lesson. I love school. Never mind him, Ella. You and I can finish this float versus sink experiment. Now I have these rocks here and I'm gonna drop them in and we'll see if they sink or float. Now they're kinda tiny, so I think they're gonna float. Oh, I don't know, Coach Rocco. I heard that all rocks sink, no matter how big or small they are. So I think that this rock will actually sink. Boys and girls, if you think that this rock will sink as well, give me a big thumbs up. Here goes. One, One two, two, three, float! Sink! <laughs> it's uh, sunk! The sea coach rocker rocks do sink. Oh, that is very interesting. Yeah. Must be all this science stuff. <laughs> all right, now let's try something else. Let's try these feathers. <laughs> now, feathers usually float, but since this one's kind of big, I think it's gonna sink. No, I think that all feathers float because they're all very light. Let's find out. One, two, two three, three, sink! Float! Oh, it floated! <laughs> See, Coach Rocco, feathers do float. Hmm, so rocks sink, feathers float. This science stuff sure is confusing. You know what isn't confusing? Gym class. Nothing confusing about running, jumping, and playing sports. Did somebody say gym class? That's a great idea. I'm totally ready for gym. Let's go. No, 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 no. We're still doing our sink versus float lesson. That's a good idea, Jimmy. First one in the pool gets an A+. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm a plus. All righty. What better place to do the sink versus float experiment than at the pool. It's like gym and science rolled into one. Yeah. Awesome, I'll be the first one to test what sinks or floats. What are you gonna use for the experiment, Jimmy? Me, Calabunga. I did it, I float. <laughs> 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 but I think I got this one covered. I'll just be here relaxing while you keep teaching Ellie. All right, now me and you can do this lesson. Now we have wood and metal. Now what do you want to use first? I think let's try this stick first. Do you think this stick will float or sink? Uh, oh, that's a tricky one. I think it might, uh, let's say it'll sink. Okay, well I think it'll float. Well, let's find out. <laughs> Three, two, one. It floated! Oh, it floats. But what happens if we use this huge log? Oh, wow, I really.
really feel like this might sink. Yeah, that will definitely sink, definitely. Uh, not too close to me, thank you very much. <laughs> Three, two, one. What? The log floated too. So, apparently, all wood floats, no matter if it's a stick or a huge log. Yep. No matter if it's heavy or small, all wood floats. That's right. Mm. All right, let's try this metal. All right, Ooh. let's do this big one first. Yep, you do the honors, Coach Rocco. Metal. <laughs> oh. oh! The metal tool sunk all the way to the bottom. Well, I figured as much. It looks really, really heavy. What about those paper clips? Well, these are definitely going to float. Yeah, they seem really, really light. Ready? Go! <gasps> what? Jimmy, did you see that? All those paper clips sunk to the bottom, just like the big heavy metal tool. <gasps> so... <sighs> that means all metal sinks to the bottom. <gasps> Ellie, you have passed this lesson with flying colors. <laughs> you get an A+. Plus. Awesome! <laughs> Wait, don't I get an A plus too for floating? See, look, I can do it again. Cut <laughs> that out, Jimmy. It's time for our next lesson. Now, come on out of the pool. Grab this stick. Come on, Coach Rocco. Oh, go. <laughs> Coach Rocco sings. Coach Rocco sings. <laughs> now, how are you floating, Jimmy? Teach me. Gym class is going so great. But what do you want me to teach you about next? Well, it's supposed to be math class now, so I'm not quite sure why we're outside. We're supposed to be learning adding and subtracting. Oh, not math class. That's way too hard. Is it time for recess yet? Don't fret, Jimmy. Math is super easy. For example, count and see how many jumping jacks I can do. Ready? One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> Four, oh, five, six. <laughs> yes, six, six, correct. You get an A plus for that. Awesome. I knew I was good at math. Guess it's time for me to go play on my tablet. Hold on. Math isn't just about counting. We have to learn adding and subtracting too. Oh, I got the perfect tool for that. The slip and slide bowling game. Each of you get a turn to slide down this thing, and we'll see and count how many pins you take out. That's adding and subtracting, isn't it? Whoa. Slip and slide bowling math class. This is a new one. Okay, I guess I'm gonna need some serious speed to knock down these pins. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Awesome! Wow! Oh, that was an epic slide! Now let's see how many pins you knocked down. One, two, three, four, five, six! Six pins! So I started off with six pins, then I knocked down six pins. Six minus six equals zero! I get it! And that subtraction, you get an A+. Plus. <laughs> My turn now. Oh, here you go, Jimmy. Thank you. All right, now let's see if you can beat an A plus, Jimmy. Easy peasy. I'm ready for this. All right, everyone. Here's world famous mathematician Jimmy coming in for his patented slipperoony. Slide away. Oh, awesome. Okay, Jimmy, let's see how many you knock down. One, two, three, four, five. So if at first there were six, and now there's only one left, we took five away. Six minus five equals one. Bingo! Jimmy, you get an A plus for subtraction! Awesome! I'm gonna get all A's on my report card. That was actually such a really good math lesson, Coach Rocco. It's only gonna get better when we learn multiplication. Oh, uh, patience. Ugh, I think it's recess time now. 
No, yeah. wait! We gotta learn multiplication! And division, and long division! Come on, Coach Rocco, race you to the pool! We gotta count all the way to a thousand! Race, yeah. guys! I knew I'd win. Scissors never loses. Good game, Jimmy. I'll get you next time. You know what this means, Ellie. I have to say yes to you all day, no matter what. No matter what. <laughs>
two eyes. Mm. Smells yummy already. But hold on, I'm not done yet. Can you also put on some pickles? Who doesn't love pickles? Pickles? Hmm, pickles, huh? Mm -hmm. I've never had pickles on a PB and ketchup and mustard sandwich before. Well, you're missing out because they're delicious. And you know what else is delicious on a sandwich? What? Marshmallows. Marshmallows? You can throw a couple of these on top too. And the final ingredient to top it all off, anchovies. Anchovies? That's so gross. Right in the center. It's going to be delicious. Uh, hmm. I don't know about this, Jimmy. <laughs> you sure do have a big appetite, don't you? Of course. <laughs> mm. it smells so good. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> that is a ridiculous sandwich. <laughs> it's good to see my campers getting their proper nutrition. That's how we get our uh, big muscles, now don't we, Jimmy? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, Coach, um, I'd love to eat this sandwich, and I can't wait to. Uh, later, though, I, I kind of had a big breakfast, so I'm not too hungry right now. Nonsense, Jimmy. You're going to eat this sandwich right now. After all, we don't waste food here at camp. Yeah. Isn't that right? That's right, Jimmy. We don't waste food at camp, especially when it's your sandwich, so. <sighs> huh. Okay, this is no big deal. I can eat this. My name is Jimmy, after all, the bravest and strongest kid in camp. I can eat this. This is nothing. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> Jimmy! Well, that was weird. <laughs> you know what? I can't let this delicious sandwich go to waste. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, did you make this for me? Mm hmm Hmm. Jimmy's recipe. Bon appetit is delicious. <laughs> mm. Oh, is that a pickle? Jimmy, you know, there is a way you could be the greatest camper ever. Oh, thanks, Coach Rocco. That's really nice of you to say. How can I be the greatest camper ever? Well, you can start by cleaning the pool. <laughs> we made quite a mess in there today, and it would really help me out. What do you say? Greatest camper ever? That's me. That's right. <laughs> Don't worry, Coach Rocco. By the time I'm done with this pool, it'll be the cleanest you've ever seen. Atta boy, that's the camping spirit. <laughs> Wait a minute. This pool really is messy. Oh, if I'd have kept my mouth shut, I could be playing Roblox right now. This is going to take me forever. <laughs> Ellie, just the person that I was looking for. I have a question to ask you, but it's really more of a favor. All right, I get it. Anything for today. But remember, just for today, what's your question? My question is, will you clean the pool for me? Yes. You know, I'm getting kind of used to this by now. <laughs> this is the best day ever. Here, take this. While you're doing that, I'm going to take a nap over here. Oh, and uh, by the way, Coach Rocco likes the pool really clean, so make sure you don't miss any spots. Hey, Jimmy! There's something down there. Come over here. Oh, Welly, it's probably nothing. Just keep cleaning. This isn't fun time. Besides, when you finish, Coach Rocco says I'm going to be the greatest camper ever. Hey, campers, how's the pool coming? Oh, it looks clean. <laughs> what you got there, Ellie? I don't know. It looks like an old phone, but I don't think anybody has one of these anymore. I wonder whose it is. <laughs> it's my phone. Oh, my brand new flip phone. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Look, you have to flip it to talk. It's got real buttons. It's got a <laughs> tiny, cute little screen there. Oh, Ellie, thank you so much. I've been looking all over for it, and it 
It still works. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, you are the greatest camper ever. You get the badge. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> what? But Coach Rocco, you said I was the greatest camper ever. I mean, come on. This isn't fair. After I cleaned the whole yard and I made you an awesome sandwich and I cleaned the pool. Come on, Ellie, didn't I do all those things? Tell him. Remember, you got to say yes. Come on, tell him. Tell him. Oh, I'm sending a text. <laughs> Camp today. We're going on a camping trip into the wild, and that means we have to get ready. Hmm, now let's see what I've packed. I've packed my fishing rod, my sneakers, some water, of course, a raincoat and some warm clothes, and I'm missing something. Oh, of course, marshmallows. Can't have a camping trip without roasting some marshmallows. Yeah. <laughs> now where did I put them? Well, we made it to the stream. I've got my fishing rod and my tackle box. I'm so ready. Yes, and we gotta just find a good place to fish. Ooh, I got you now, Ellie. So I've been watching a lot of fishing videos, and I learned that fish love to swim around in the shade. So this is a perfect place to set up. The first step to fish is to put the bait on the hook. This fishing rod comes with bait already on the hook. It looks like a little fishy. <laughs> and then we just swing. <laughs> so, fishing is so easy, huh? Well, it's not fishing unless you catch a real fish. You can fish for my shoe. Hold on. <laughs> All right. All right. This is a fish alert. <laughs> I'm going to need your help, Coach Rocco. All right. I got it. How ready? Yeah. One, two, three, pull. <laughs> uh, let's see what you got here. Oh, yuck. Hold your nose. What is that smell? <gasps> oh, no. It's a big, stinky boot. Gosh, fishing is harder than I thought. <laughs> I can't believe she actually caught my shoe. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Wait a minute. What is that? There's something inside the boot. Oh, look, Ellie, you did it! You caught a fish just like Coach Rocco taught you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cute! Quick, we have to take a picture of my first catch. Huh? Oh, no! Okay, Mr. Fishy, I'm gonna put you right back in the water, all right? Yes! There you go. Thank you so much. Bye, Mr. Fishy! <laughs> <laughs> I love fishing already, and I've only caught one fish. I'm definitely gonna come back here tomorrow. What? She actually caught a fish? Oh, man, Ellie is getting so lucky today. I can't let her get my wilderness badge. I'm just gonna have to make the next activity the hardest one yet. <laughs> oh, great. Now my shoe is all wet and stinky. Hey, Jimmy. I hear you're a pretty good camper. You know how to pitch a tent? Of course I know how to pitch a tent. They didn't give me this badge for nothing, you know. Now let's see. First, you take this piece here, and you connect it to... Wait, no, hold on. No, you take these, and then put it over... Uh, Jimmy, do you need any help? Oh, no, no, it's, uh... It's meant to look like this. I'm all good. Just give me one minute and then I can build your tent. Oh no, don't worry about that. I'm all done. You already built your tent? No way, that's impossible. Uh-huh. Look over there. Whoa. <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> I 
just followed the instructions and voila! Well, uh, it looks pretty good, but is it big enough to sleep in? Oh, wow! And it's comfy, too! Well done, Ellie. You passed with flying colors. But there's still a few more things you gotta learn before you, you earn your wilderness badge. Wait, 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 wait. It may look like the perfect tent, but I bet it'll blow right over when it gets windy. Watch. <laughs> All right, Ellie. Now for today's final activity, roasting marshmallows. No camping trip would be complete without roasting marshmallows on an open flame. <laughs> now we just need some long sticks. Oh! I found these sticks in the woods, and I got an extra one for you. <laughs> and now for the most important ingredient, the marshmallows. Here you go. I just put the marshmallow on the end of your stick and start toasting it over the fire. <laughs> this is gonna be so yummy. Whoops! Oh. Jimmy, watch out! Oops, did I do that? I was really looking forward to those marshmallows. Oh well, I guess that's the lesson here. If you want to be a camping expert, just like Jimmy, you gotta have a backup plan. Wait a second. A backup plan? Hmm, I think I packed my portable barbecue. We can barbecue these marshmallows. <sighs> a barbecued marshmallow, what a brilliant idea. I've been a camp coach for a long time and I've never had a barbecued marshmallow. Hold on, Ellie has a backup plan for roasting marshmallows? Oh, don't do anything yet. Jimmy's coming, Jimmy's coming. <laughs> all right, all done, Coach Rocco. Have a taste. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. This is the Best roasted marshmallow I've ever had. Even better than one cooked on a campfire. <laughs> Ellie, you have passed with flying colors today. You have earned your wilderness badge. <laughs> Here it is. Congratulations! Yes! Awesome! <laughs> I'm a wilderness expert, just like Jimmy. Speaking of Jimmy. <gasps> Look, Jimmy, I did it! <laughs> oh, you got lucky again. But don't be sad. I'll make you a roasted marshmallow. <laughs> I'm for this year because I get to give out all the candy to the people in the neighborhood. I have a huge bowl that I filled up with all sorts of wonderful treats. I can't wait to see all the costumes. They're gonna be so cool. <laughs> oh, it's our first trick or treater already. I wonder who it is. <gasps> trick or treat. Hi, Jimmy. Oh, cool crayon costume. That's super creative. Thanks, Ellie. I got the coolest costume in school, per usual, so I can get the most candy. Well, lucky for you, I just filled up my bowl with all sorts of treats. Wow, these are gigantic. I'll take this one and this one, my favorite. And this one, I love these too. And uh, no thanks. Ooh, candy, 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 candy. Oh, but Jimmy, because they're full-size bars, you can only pick one. To keep it fair for everyone else, I gotta have some more for the rest of the kids. Only one? Are you sure? Can I have just a couple more? Nope, but I promise you, Jimmy, if I have any leftover candy, we'll share it together. Oh. Wait a second. Sure thing, Ellie. Whatever you say, fair's fair after all. I guess I'll just take this one and be on my way. Happy Halloween! Oh. Well, that was easy. I'm really glad that Jimmy respected my rule of one candy per person. <laughs> trick or treat! Huh, another trick or treater? That was really fast. Trick or treat. 
Hmm, Jimmy, I know that's you. You just put on glasses and a green crayon costume instead of your blue one. Oh, come on, Ellie. You're the only one in this whole block that gives out full bars. Don't I at least get points for trying a new costume? Jimmy, I'll see you tomorrow at school, and I already told you I'll give you candy if I have any left over. Oh, Ellie, please. Come oh, on. Jimmy. Give me some of that sweet candy. Jimmy. Candy, candy, candy. Come on, Ellie. Tomorrow. Give I'll give you leftovers to tomorrow. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Coach Rocco, Coach Rocco, hey, there you are. <laughs> Ellie's giving out full bars of candy to the trick-or-treaters, but to get another one, I have to change my costume. Do you have anything I could use? Oh, well, let's see here. Um, no luck, Jimmy. These are all double costumes, so you'll need a friend to wear it with you. A friend? That's perfect. We can go together. Oh, no, I haven't been uh, trick-or-treating in a long time. Coach Rocco, I'm telling you, these candy bars <laughs> are huge. You've got to join me. That big, huh? Well, let's see what we got here. This ought to do the trick. <laughs> Perfect. Ooh, some lucky person is going to be getting Reese's Sticks. I haven't been happy before. And her shoes with almonds. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't trick-or-treated in years. Now remember, your ketchup, I'm mustard. And if anyone asks, this is our first time being here. OK, all right, all right. Kit Kats. Oh, peanut butter cups. Classic. Trick or so good. Oh. <laughs> Trick or treaters are here. Trick or treat. Oh, uh, hi. <laughs> Ketchup and mustard. That's a super funny costume. Oh, hi, Coach Rocco. Oh, you know it was me? <laughs> Uh, well, you always go as ketchup for Halloween. Oh, that's true. Well, Coach Rocco's back trick-or-treating. <laughs> I'm ready for some yummy treats. <laughs> and who did you bring? Who's your friend here, Mr. Mustard? Huh? Uh. Oh, thank you. I'll put this on my hot dogs. Oh, let's play a game. Why don't you close your eyes and reach into the bowl and whatever you pick out is the candy that you keep. Oh, okay, I'll go first. <laughs> All right, I love games. Huge candy bar, best Halloween ever. <laughs> My turn. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, you got a banana. You're gonna have a healthy Halloween. It looks delicious and it matches your costume. Yeah. <laughs> well, you ready to hit some more houses, Mr. Mustard? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, no. happy Halloween, you guys. I hope you get tons of candy from the other houses. You're only allowed one treat here. I gotta save the rest for everybody else. <laughs> Bye, Ellie. Happy Bye. Halloween. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? I wonder who that Mr. Mustard was. Great teamwork, Jimmy. You were right. These candy bars are huge. <laughs> Great for you. You got a candy bar. All I got was this banana. Nobody wants a fruit on Halloween. I think since it was my idea, we should trade. Uh, I don't think so. In all my days of trick-or-treating, I've never seen candy bars this huge. Look, it's as big as your head. <laughs> Sweet, delicious, chocolatey candy goodness. That's it, Coach. We have to go back there and try again. I gotta get one of those candy bars. Do you have any other costumes? Well, I do have one costume left, but I don't think you're gonna like it. What? No way. Uh-uh. How are we even gonna fit into that? I don't think so, Coach. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! <laughs> It looks so real. And there's two people in the costume? That's awesome. You put so much work into it. And because you put so much work into your Halloween costume, you can have the rest of my candy. Well, I have an orange, and I have this huge candy bar. So who wants the orange? No. No? Then who wants the candy bar? Oh, me, 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 me. I want it. No, I want it. You got the last one. You should get the orange, Jimmy. Orange is your favorite color. Coach Rocco, it's my turn to get a candy. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Jimmy, Coach Rocco, it was you two in the horse costume. How many times have you been trick-or-treating here today? 
The jig is up! Run! Run! <laughs> Jenny! Coach Rocco! Oh, well, I guess this is all for me then. And <laughs> I get a free horse head. They left all their candy here too. So silly. And Camp Counselor Coach Rocco told us to make these giant sheets. They're a lot heavier than I thought. I'm definitely gonna need some help. Oh, hey, Jimmy. You wanna help me carry this giant sheep over to the pool? Sure thing. My name is Jimmy, you know, the strongest kid in camp. This will be a breeze. I wonder what these giant shapes are for. Hey, do you hear that? It sounds like the ice cream truck. Oh, ice cream? Um, why don't we go get a cone? After our camp activity today, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, after our camp activity? But I want it now. I can't wait. Ice cream. Uh, Jimmy! Oh, no! Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to carry this all by myself. Today's challenge is jumping through impossible shapes. The rules are simple. We're going to take these shapes that you made and put them into the pool. Then each of you are gonna jump into the pool and through the shape. The one who jumps through the shape and doesn't touch the board gets a point. But if you touch the board, you get zero. Now we're gonna use this wheel to pick which shape we use first. Ready? One, two, three, spin the wheel! <laughs> yes, it landed on circle. Well, oh. here's the circle. Ellie, would you do the honor and throw it into the pool? My pleasure, Coach Rocco. So I have to jump into the circle without touching the sides of it. I think this is going to be pretty easy, don't you? <laughs> I have my GoPro just in case I want to see what it looks like when I jump in. Hi! Ooh, it's going to look so cool. And I got my goggles. Let's put them on. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Jimmy, over here, coach. This challenge is super easy, so that's why I'm gonna make it awesome with my favorite donut floaty. It's a perfect circle, so it'll fit right through the board. Ready or not, here comes Jimmy. Jimmy. Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I win? Oh no, Jimmy, you didn't make it through. That crack you heard oh. was you crashing through the board. You didn't make it through at all. Wait a minute, I didn't make it through? Hold on, I get a do-over. Just let me get my donut. Oh, look at this, Jimmy. Okay, and the score for round one is one Ellie, Jimmy zero. And now it's time for round two. And spin the wheel! <laughs> it landed on the person! Oh, wait till you see this one. This one's my personal favorite. <laughs> A person? It looks like he's sleeping. How are we supposed to jump through this if he's sleeping? <laughs> Throw. Jimmy's definitely got this one. I just gotta jump in there like I'm jumping into bed. Here comes Jimmy. Jimmy. I did it. I definitely got it this time, right? You did it, Jimmy. You jumped right through without touching the board. Great job, that was 
amazing! Awesome! <laughs> this was the hardest jump ever, and Jimmy got it! Woo! Nice jump, Jimmy! Now let's see if I can get through without touching the sides. This is gonna be a hard one! One, two, three, go! Ah! Touch the board, that means no point for you. But that does mean that you and Jimmy are now tied! Ooh, I love a good competitive challenge! <laughs> and now it's time for round three. Ellie has one, Jimmy has one. The score is tied. Now let's spin the wheel! <laughs> Wow, it landed on the letter B. We have to jump through shapes and letters. Yup, and here it is. Lucky for me, this is what my name starts with. Oh, I'm totally gonna win this one. Jimmy, your name starts with a J, not B, remember? J, Jimmy. J, B, what's the difference? Either way, I'm totally gonna win. <laughs> yeah. This is a tricky one. I'm gonna have to pick which loop I'm gonna have to jump through. I can pick the nearest one or the furthest one. I think I'm gonna pick the furthest one. I'm feeling extra jumpy today. Three, two, one. Think you could do the same? Ellie only jumped through one of the loops in the B. That's like cheating. I'm gonna jump through both loops and that'll show you who the real best jumper is. Here comes Jimmy. 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 Did you see that? I got through both loops. Best jumper ever! Uh, I don't think so, Jimmy. Look how the board is all busted up. The whole challenge is, is about not touching the board. I'm afraid you don't get a point for this one. I'm not allowed to touch the board? Nobody told me that. That's not fair. I thought it was better if you touched the board. Oh, come on, give me a do-over. Let me go one more time, Coach, please. Not fair. And the score is now two Ellie, one Jimmy. It's time for round four. And spin the wheel! <gasps> awesome! It landed on the heart shape! That's my favorite shape of all time! A oh, heart? Yuck! Oh, give me that. Favorite shape? Check. Jump and stretch. Check. Time for me to go. One, two, three. Oh, look at that perfect jump. <laughs> okay, pressure's on, Jimmy, but you can't get through. Please, heart shape is easy peasy. All I gotta do is turn myself into a heart shape. Ready or not, here comes Jimmy. Oh. Ah! Jimmy. Oh. Jimmy. Oh. Ah! Jimmy. I did it, world pool jumping champion. <laughs> I'm afraid not, Jimmy. You busted up the board yet again. That means Ellie has three points and you have one point, making Ellie the pool jumper challenger winner! Yes! Third in the pool, coach! And there you go. There you go. Oh. Ah! Right behind Jimmy! You right there. Oh, there it is. Got it! <laughs> no Jimmy. Fair. 
either. Oh my goodness, you really messed up that board good, huh? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Give me one more try. I'll get it this time, I swear. <laughs> You're a real heartbreaker. Three, two, dude. one. Ah! Yeah, <laughs> Did oh, I yeah, get it yeah. this time? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Sparkle Squad? Me and Jimmy have been playing a lot this morning and now we're super hungry. I wonder what we're gonna have for lunch today. Oh, maybe we can get some pizza. Ooh, that's a great idea. Hey, Coach, can we get some pizza for takeout? Takeout? Look at all the food that's in here. We have a lot of food that needs to get used up. So how about we make some lunchtime smoothies? Ooh. You can make an orange smoothie, you can make a red smoothie. You each could use five ingredients and um, let's see who makes the best one. Jimmy, you're gonna get beat. Awesome, an orange smoothie? That's my favorite color, so there's no way I'm losing this challenge. <laughs> Wait a second, what's orange? Coach Rocco, there's no food that's orange. This is impossible, Oh, come on. Hmm, let's see. Here's some oranges. Of course. Let's plop a couple in there. Baby carrots. I know what this needs. Cheetos, my favorite. Cheetos. Yum. Hmm, I know what it's missing. Mac and cheese. That's kind of orange. The cheese, at least. Yum. This is going to be the cheesiest smoothie ever. <laughs> hmm, let's see what else we got in the fridge. Mustard's kind of orange, right? Close enough, I'd say. Little mustard on it. This smells good already. Let's blend it up. Okay. <laughs> and... All right, let's pour it out. Got the cup ready? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. And it smells delicious. <laughs> oh, that looks scrumptious. How about we split it three ways? Uh, On second you can thought. Go first, coach. Yeah, you can be the taste tester. Oh, all right, all right. More for me. <laughs> mm, this smells interesting. Mm. Mm. Oh, is it, coach? No, it's um, it's um, a little gritty. <laughs> Must be the carrot. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but it's delicious and nutritious, Coach. You gotta love it. Yeah, yes, um, um, excuse me a second. <laughs> All right, I still need yours, Ellie. No, no yeah. problem. I think he loved it. Poor Coach Rocco. Hmm, now I have to make my smoothie. Yeah. I think I'll put in some some strawberry jelly. There's not much in there. There is a tomato sauce. Tomatoes are fruit. Mmm, I love strawberry jelly. You know, Ellie, I don't think that's quite red enough. Let's get another ingredient. Mm. Pepperoni. It's good on pizza. Surely it'll be just as good in a smoothie. You know what? Let's just throw a couple. I'm not so sure about this, Jimmy. Well, to top it off and make it perfect, I found some hot sauce to give it a little spice, you know? Oh, there you go. There we go. Oh, that was a lot of hot sauce, Jimmy. The more the merrier. Okay, time to blend. Mm-hmm. Hey, Coach! 
my smoothie's ready for you. Oh, I feel much better and I'm a little bit hungry. So, um, would you like it? You're going to love it, Coach. No, it's no, 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 I'm good. All, right, I'll... all for you, Coach. Bottoms up. <laughs> It's spicy, isn't it? Oh, a teeny more? Oh, no. Are you sure? I need, I need some, I need uh, water, water, I need to. Water? Yeah. Oh gosh. Here, I'll just drink this. Oh. Oh, that's yours. That's your smoothie. No, you go. Oh, go on. Yes, yes, yes. How about we have um, ice cream for lunch today? Yes? Yes! yes. 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 Oh, oh, God. Hey, Coach. Coach? And slidey fun with Jimmy and Coach Rocco. And we're gonna crash into these pins. <laughs> I love bowling and slip and slide. <laughs> All right, kids, are you ready for today's activities? Yeah. yeah. All right, you get two chances to slide all the way down here and into those pins. The one who knocks down the most pins wins the game. Now, let me show you how it's done. <laughs> right, you gotta just see, I'm special. You want the board? No, no, I got enough. Uh, I got enough. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm getting close. <laughs> how far are the pins? How, how far are they? They're pretty far away, uh, Coach. All right, well, you get them. All right, just go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Well, all right, you go. <laughs> okay. If you want a slip and slide ball with me, hit that thumbs up button. Ready? Three. Two, one. Ah! Whoa! Got one, two, three, four, five. Yes! I just need one more. One more pin to go. Ooh, I gotta aim this way. Okay. See if you could beat five pins and on your mark, get set, go! Here comes the Jimmy Pinaroonie. Woo! Woo! Whoa! How many did I get? Looks like five pins. Awesome. Here comes Jimmy! Ooh, no! <laughs> oh, looks like we have a tie! <laughs> five pins, Jimmy. Jimmy! Five pins, Ellie! So close! <laughs> okay, campers, time for the tiebreaker. We're gonna be using this giant slingshot to shoot Jimmy's basketball into those pins over there. You get two chances, and whoever knocks down the most pins wins. Well, let me show you how you do it. You pull this back all the way there, and you just, uh, you just. <laughs> well, you're supposed to shoot the ball, really, but. Anyway, you get the, you get the point. All right, uh, Ellie, you, you go first. All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Whoa! All right, Ellie Sparkles, looks like you knocked down one, two, three. <laughs> well done. I just need to get three more. I have to go this way. Got it. Okay. 
Three, two, one. Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> I hit the duck. Ah, looks like you didn't get any on that round. Ah. So Jimmy, you'll have to knock down more than three. More than three? Piece of cake. Oh, we'll I got this one. <laughs> My turn. This is going to be so easy. I have lots of experience with basketballs and slingshots. Let's go. Three, two, one, Jimmy. What? No fair. That was supposed to go down. See, Coach Rocco, I got one. Oh, it looks like you got one, Jimmy. <laughs> All right, you get one more chance to see if you can beat Ellie's score. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up a spare. <laughs> we'll see. Come on, I got it. Three, two, one, Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh! oh! <laughs> looks like. Okay, one pin, two pin, three pin. Four pin, that means Jimmy's the winner! Awesome! <laughs> I knew it! I guess so, but boys and girls, are we sure that Jimmy didn't cheat? Shh, I didn't cheat, don't know what you're talking about. Why don't we let him have this one? You won Jimmy, fair and square! Awesome! <laughs> Victory dance! <laughs> Lunchtime already? I've been hearing a lot about Coca Cola and Mentos and fizzy explosions, and I want you two to figure it out. Let's, okay. Let's see who can make the fizziest, biggest explosion. <laughs> I'll leave you two to it. Okay. Good luck. Bye, okay, Coach Rocco. Rocco. This is gonna be super fun. Yes. So, um, would you mind explaining how we do this? I mean, I know how to do it, but I want to make sure you know how. Oh, Jimmy, no problem. Okay, so first we're gonna take our Coke. Open it up. And it's super easy. We just drop Mentos in there. Now how many should we put in? Hmm, how about 12? Um, let's start off with two. Okay. Three, two, one. And remember to step back, Jimmy. Okay. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Holy cow! Whoa! <laughs> Holy cow! Yep. Isn't that super cool? It's super cool and it's super messy. Uh-huh. You sure it's okay we're doing this? I think so. Coach Rocco said it was okay. And look at this. We have all these lids, too. We can pick whichever cap we want and make different kinds of explosions. Huh. Why don't you pick one first? Hmm. Well, there's no orange, and that's my favorite color, so I'll pick red. Next red? Best thing. No problem. I think I'm going to go for this green one. Okay. Ugh. Why don't we do this one at a time? All right. First, we're gonna take our little Mentos tube and load it up with Mentos. I'm gonna do four this time. Four Mentos, wow. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And then I just screw on my lid. And make sure that this is blocked off so it doesn't fall in just yet. Mm-hmm. One, two, three. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! That one is high as a skyscraper. <laughs> yep. Wait, my turn, my turn. All right, let me help you out. So first take off the lid. Okay. And then screw this one off. And then load it up first. How many Mentos did you do? I did four. Then I'll do four too. One. One. Two. two. Three. Oh no, Jimmy! <laughs> I forgot to put the, the safe on. <laughs> That's 
That's okay. <laughs> you want to do it again? Sure. Okay. Let's see. Let's do this again the right way. Load it up, Jimmy. <gasps> One. Put it in flat. Two. Three. Four. Screw on the leg. Why don't you do the orders of unleashing the fizz? All right, this time it's going to work. Mm. Oh, cool. There we there go. We go. the biggest one yet. Yes. yes! Awesome! Now let's try out the balloon experiment. I've been wanting to do this forever. Balloons? How does this work? Mm -hmm. We're going to load up these balloons with Mentos and then put the balloons on the bottles and hopefully the fizz will blow them right up. That's crazy! Which one do you want? That one? No problem. I'm going to load mine up first. <laughs> one. Can you actually hold sure, that open anything? for me, Jimmy? You got it. Now just wait, I'm gonna get some Mentos for you too. Okay, I'm gonna open up your balloon for you. Is it safe to close yours? Yep, go ahead. Phew. And just put it aside and load yours up. One, two, three. Wow, will it even fit six Mentos? Four, oh it's gonna fit. Five, mm, six, ah, there got we it. Go. <laughs> and now, <sighs> Take the lip of it, open up your bottles. And this might get a little tricky. Now, we're going to stick the balloon, but make sure you don't drop the Mentos in yet. Make sure it's on there, nice and tight. What do you think, <laughs> tight enough? That's pretty good. Okay. And we're just gonna drop our Mentos in. <laughs> oh, there we go, ah! Whoa! Whoa! Did she get yours, Jimmy? No, I think mine are stuck. Oh, no! Come on. Oh, mine's gonna explode. Oh, there we go. Whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> ah! You weren't kidding, Ellie. These oh. balloons are huge. Oh, oh. Ah! I think this one's gonna fly right oh. off. Wait, look, look at that. Well, we have a Coke balloon fight. Yeah, it's like a water balloon yeah. fight. It's even more awesome. Oh! Oh, 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 there, oh, there. Are you ready to show me what you figured out here? Oh, yeah, sure, Coach Rafa. Here, Jimmy will show you the first experiment we did. All right, safety first. I got my goggles off. Uh, well, Coach Rocco, the first thing you want to do is take off the cap. Here, let me see. Make sure you're not trying to trick me. I'm not trying to trick you, Coach Rocco. Uh, let me get a good look at this. All right, you took the cap off. Now what do you do? Well, all you have to do is plop in a Mentos, but you might not right, want to be so close. It gets a little... No, messy. I want to make sure you're not trying to pull me here. I don't know. Okay. If you say I don't so, see coach, anything. It's coming me. right up, Coach. I don't see it. Then you add the Mentos. I don't see anything. There you go. Yet. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Coach, I told you. Uh, well, I knew, I knew it was going to happen like that. I just it was hot. I wanted it quite refreshing. All right. It is, isn't it? And right, we also used... Uh oh, whoa. We also used the special lids that it came with. Then we put the Mentos in. Mm -hmm. We put on the lid. Oh, this isn't gonna work. No, no. Oh, this is going to work. No. Oh, you no. might want to back up a little bit. I... No, I know what I'm doing. Uh, if you I say so, so it's, a, it's a fountain. See, I, I wanted a drink. That's a... <laughs> delicious. <laughs> delicious, yeah. Don't... Sugary, cokey explosion. Yeah, you kids don't do that to you. You wanna get some pizza with some of this Coke? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Of pizza! <laughs> You scared me. I thought I was good at scaring people, but you might be the best. I wasn't even trying to scare you. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. What do you say we team up to play a trick on Coach Rocco? I bet we can scare him. I don't know. We're supposed to be cleaning up, remember? Well, look, he's right over there. He's drinking his morning coffee. 
which he calls yeah. his wake-up juice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Just one more trick. <laughs> you know what to do, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're enjoying your wake-up juice. Looks yummy. Yes, it is delicious, Ellie, but only for grown-ups. So I don't want to scare you, Coach Rocco, but I heard that someone is wearing a, wearing a creepy crayon costume. <laughs> don't be silly, Ellie. Nothing like that exists. Besides, nothing can scare old Coach Rocco anyway. Boom! <laughs> 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 We totally scared you, Coach Rocco. You spilled your wake-up juice all over the place. Oh, Jimmy, I told you not to sneak up on me like that. And I wasn't scared. My um, my coffee was just a bit too hot. I'll check the machine later. <laughs> Nothing can scare Coach Rocco. You can try as hard as you want. In fact, I dare you to try. I think we'll take you up on that challenge. <laughs> Boys and girls, if you want to see me and Jimmy scare Coach Rocco, give us a big thumbs up. You're on, Coach Rocco. We are taking you down to Scare Town. Yeah! <laughs> scare Town? That doesn't exist. Oh, does it? Where is it? Ah! Oh. <laughs> There's Coach Rocco, right on schedule. <laughs> he thinks he's not gonna get scared, but let's see, cause me and Jimmy have a plan up our sleeves. My favorite part of the day, cleaning the pool. <laughs> cleaning the pool is so cool. There's Jimmy right now. Yeah. Hey, Coach Rocco, cleaning the pool, huh? Well, yes. you might wanna be pretty careful. I'm pretty sure that earlier I saw a shark in there. Oh, you saw a shark in here, Jimmy? <laughs> My, you have an active imagination. I don't know. Big, thin, giant, sharp teeth. Sure looked like a shark to me. <laughs> kind of like those dinosaurs you see flying around. I was uh, just testing the temperature of the water because we have crabs in here later and I don't want it to be too cold. Okay, I guess I'll believe you weren't scared this time, Coach Rocco. Guess what? Me and Jimmy have more plans to scare you later, right, Jimmy? That's right. More scares are coming your way. See you later, Coach. <laughs> Bye, Coach. <laughs> you can try to scare me, but you you won't scare Coach Rocco. <laughs> 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 Quick, Jimmy, get in position. Coach Rocco's gonna get here any second. Hurry, let's go. Get in the bed. <laughs> Where are you at, you two? Wow, Coach Rocco isn't messing around. You're not gonna scare me this time. I gotcha! <laughs> I told you you can't scare me, not today! <laughs> You're right, Coach Rocco. You found me. Yep, can't scare Coach Rocco. I warned you not to scare me instead. I got you this time. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping on the bed, yay! See, Ellie, this is fun! Jimmy, join us! It's fun, yay! It just look kind of fun. I was, I, yeah, I wasn't scared at all. I just like jumped. <laughs> Acrobatics! Uh, we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna plan our next trick. Bye, Coach Rocco! Oh, that's 
scary and got me hungry. Me too. We must have scared Coach Rocco at least five times, even if he says we didn't. He thought we couldn't scare him, but we totally took him down to Scare Town. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, who's that? Coach Rocco? Is that you? Come on, it's obviously him. Green shirt, whistle, megaphone. Nice try, Coach Rocco, but we already won the challenge. Now go fetch me a banana. I'm hungry. And I'll have an orange drink. Wow, that was a pretty good mask. He almost tricked me for a second. Oh, mm -hmm. please. I knew it was him the whole time. That's mm -hmm. why I'm the smartest and bravest kid in school. Hey, kids, what's for lunch? Yeah, hey, Coach Rocco. Wait, if you're Coach Rocco, then who's... That! Oh, oh no! Run! <laughs> now that's how you scare someone on <laughs> Meow Moween! <laughs> Good kitty! Look at me! <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> Play! <laughs> Who are you, huh? <laughs> Christmas! Just testing out this new basketball. Let's try the new Santa spin a -rooney. Here I go! Whoa! Yes, I almost forgot I was having so much fun. But just one more dunk. Okay. Boys and girls, if you'd like to see Santa do the old Santa spin a -rooney, give me a thumbs up. Ho, 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 ho! Here goes. One, two, three. <laughs> Now that Santa's finally off the trampoline, we can give all these gifts to our dear friends on the nice list. This is our first stop. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Santa, I've been waiting for you. You're finally here. Oh, I promise I've been a really good boy this year. Do you have any presents for me? We sure do. Wait a minute, Ellie. Santa, did you pick Ellie to help you hand out gifts this year? I thought you were going to pick me. Looks like you're on the nice list, Jimmy. You get one gift. I hope it's a big oh. one. It sure looks like it. I'll help you there. Uh, there you wow. go. Wow. This is pretty big and pretty heavy, too. I can't wait to see what's inside. Awesome. A new basketball. I can't believe it. This was the first thing on my wish list. Yep. And it works great, too. I tested out that ball before we got here. Awesome. Thanks, Santa. Oh, wait, so uh, what you got next? Keep them coming. Uh... More presents? Uh, Jimmy, it says right here on the nice list that you get one gift. See? Here, have a copy. One, one gift? There has to be some kind of mistake. I had at least 27 other gifts on my wish list. Are you sure you don't have the wrong house? I'm terribly sorry, Jimmy, but perhaps if you're nicer next year, you'll get more presents. But for now, here's what I have for you. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, Jimmy! <laughs> All right, Santa, time to go to our next house. <laughs> huh, only one gift for me? This isn't going to work without a basketball hoop or all the other things I ask for. But wait a second. I do have Santa's list right here. So I know who's getting what. Hey, that gives me an idea. <laughs> all right, who's next on the list, Santa? Says here on the list, Coach Rocco. Where can we find him? Oh, Coach Rocco would be on the list. He's the most fun grown-up I know. Yes! Come on, Santa. I know exactly where to find him. All right, looks like they're coming to Coach Rocco's place, just like the list said. 
I better change into my Coach Rocco costume. All set. Leaning the pool is so cool. There you are, Coach Rocco. Wait, is it Coach Rocco? Well, of course it's Coach Rocco, Ellie Sparkles. Uh, who else wears this green coat shirt? Or this hat? Or uh, cleans the pool? <laughs> Certainly not Jimmy, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've heard all year. <laughs> Jimmy, clean the pool. Nuh-uh. <laughs> oh, you were right, Ellie. Coach Rocco is funny. <laughs> no wonder he got a present. Here you go. Ah, oh, a present of my very own. I can't wait to see what this is. A coat shirt? I mean... A coat shirt! Thank you, Santa! Very nice, but uh, do you have anything else for me? Yes! You were so good this year, Coach Rocco. You get two presents. Two gifts? I hit the jackpot. Oh, I mean, uh, the bigger the better as far as I'm concerned. Let's see what's in here. I hope it's a basketball hoop, but I'll settle for... A megaphone? Thanks, Santa. Perfect for me. It's just what I wanted. Yeah, a megaphone is perfect for you, Coach Rocco, so that you can go, Time for class, everyone! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we have so many more gifts to hand out, so we'll see you later, Coach. Bye! Merry Christmas! Oh, ho, ho. oh. just my luck that, of course, the two gifts Coach Rocco gets are the gifts that I wanted the least. Hmm. I'm gonna have to change into someone else and get their gifts instead. Let's take a look at the list. Looks like Santa's still delivering some gifts. Let's see who's next on the list to get a couple presents. Huh? There's only one person left and it's Ellie. And she's getting three gifts, no way! <sighs> With those numbers, she's sure to get my basketball hoop. I gotta see if I can get those presents. Hmm. All right, I've got it. My brilliant plan's gonna work, as it always does. It's so smart, let's go. Ho, ho, ho! Just one more very special house left. What's up, Sparkle Squad? It's me, Ellie Sparkles. Huh? Whoa, Santa, I'm super glad to see you because, you know, I'm just so perfect. I hope those presents are for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow! I hope one of these is a basketball hoop because I'm Ellie Sparkles and I love basketball. Wow. Hi! Hi, Santa. Sorry I'm late. There was somebody out there that needed some help and I... Who are you? I really like your style. Why, uh, I'm Ellie Sparkles, of course. <laughs> no, I'm Ellie Sparkles. Wait a minute. If you're Ellie Sparkles and you're Ellie Sparkles, who's the real Ellie Sparkles? Me, me. Uh, I say we have a quiz. All right, I'll ask you first. What is Ellie Sparkles' favorite sandwich? Um... Anchovies and pickles, of course. Hee <laughs> hee. No, it's peanut butter and jelly. But I know whose favorite sandwich that is. <laughs> Jimmy! So long, Sparkle Squad! Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he is definitely naughty, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look ah. at him go. I wonder where he got those overalls. They're really nice. Three gifts! Oh, yeah, I guess that was really one. nice, wasn't I? Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> We're playing Roblox. <laughs> Say hi to the camera, Jimmy. Hello, world! Hey. Jimmy! Hey. hey, did you hear that? I think someone needs
your help outside. Come on, Jimmy. Let's go. Fine. We should both level up. I think it sounded a lot like Coach Rocco. <laughs> Coach Rocco, is that you? Oh my goodness! Are you okay? <laughs> oh, don't worry. Oh, Ellie, you're not gonna believe this. I was walking over here with all the camp gear for today's activities when I. Oh, oh, oh. I tripped over Jimmy's basketball and I dropped all the gear into the pool. Awesome, you found my basketball. Can we go inside and play Roblox now? No, Jimmy, we gotta help Coach Rocco get his gear back. If you wanna help me get the gear back, hit that thumbs up button. I'll make you both a deal. If you dive into the pool and get all the equipment that fell in, you'll both get your underwater camp badge. <laughs> awesome, sounds good, Coach. Hey, here, catch. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm waterlogged. <laughs> You're not mad at me, are you? <laughs> no, just a little bit spicy today, that's all. <laughs> All right, Coach Rocco, we're ready to help you out. What do you need? Here's an underwater scooter. It'll help you get to the bottom of the pool really fast like a submarine. Oh, cool. Jimmy, do you want to use it and get all the way down to the bottom and get the camp gear? Wait a minute. All the way down to the bottom? Mm -hmm. Like all the way, all the way? Uh, why don't you go first, Ellie? I'll stay here and um, help Coach Rocco. All right, Jimmy, you big old scaredy cat. You're going to miss out on all this sea scooter action. I'm ready. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. Let me try this out. Oh, good job. Let's see. Hmm. Looks like there's... Wow! A bike pump? What are we supposed to do with this? Are we gonna pump up floaties? Exactly. So get your pumping muscles ready, because boy, do I have a floaty for you. Awesome! Come on, wait till you see this. <laughs> Jimmy, almost there. Just a few more pumps. This is your idea of a floaty? It looks more like a giant hamster ball. Well, now it's time for the fun part. Each of you is gonna get inside these hamster balls and then we're gonna have a race. You're gonna get inside, run as fast as you can till you get to the other side of the field. Whoever crosses the finish line first wins the race. I understand the rules, but how are we supposed to get inside? Are we supposed to get out from the top? Nope, here, I'll show you. You ready to get in? Yeah. Here you go. Got to be quick now. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, go! Whee! Whoa! All right. <laughs> there you go. We'll just pump her up there. You ready, Jimmy? Always ready, Coach. Here All comes right. Jimmy with a smooth entrance. All right. One. Two, three, go! Oh, quickly, oop, oh, yes, all right. All right. Now that we got Jimmy in the ball, are you hamsters ready to race? Ellie's ready! Yeah! On your marks, get set, go! Woo! Jimmy, you're so fast! Oh, dinosaur! Uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
alone again. Uh, Here, take the sea scooter to help you. I guess it's Ellie to the rescue once again. Whew. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Slingshot? Coach huh? Rocco, what are we gonna do with this? Oh. Are we gonna... That's so fast, Jimmy. Wait till you guys see this. Follow me. <laughs> Come on, Ellie. I'm coming. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, wait for me. This is the Coach Rocco giant water balloon slingshot. And here's how you use it. You stretch this thing out as far as you can, and you shoot your water balloon into those pins way over there. The one to knock down the most pins wins the game. All right, let me show you how you do this. All right, ready, and... Whoa! Well, you know, it's not supposed to do that, but you, you get the point. Nice try, Coach Rocco. All right, you up? Sure. Whoa! You got him! Let's see how much you got here. One, two, three, four! <laughs> well sure done. Now. Yeah, let's see if you can beat that, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Now it's Jimmy's turn. Go, Jimmy, go! One, two, three! Awesome! <laughs> that was so cool, Jimmy! Let's go see how many I got. <laughs> Looks like you got one, two, three! Ellie Sparkles wins again! <laughs> well, you'll have better luck next time. Come on, cheer up. You'll get the next one, Jimmy. Yeah, we got more activities. Come on! Hey, Jimmy, if you're too scared to go down again, do you want me to do it for you? Well... If I go down, do I get to use that awesome sea scooter? Of course you do. You can't have a rescue mission without it. All right, this time I'm gonna do it. And I'll use this unicorn as a launching pad. Cool. Here comes Jimmy. Fine. <laughs> See, it's just a measly <gasps> camp badge. It's the underwater. 
water badge. I did it. I'm the best. It was all me. <laughs> yup, Jimmy, it was all you. I did it. Woo! I'm better than everyone. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> to make breakfast. Let's do this. Um, you've been making breakfast all week, Ellie. How about we give um, a Jimmy? Jimmy, how about you show us your breakfast cooking skills today, huh? Awesome. Sure thing, coach. Okay. Hi, Jimmy. So, you're going to make breakfast today? Can I place my order with you? You bet. What do you have? Um, let's start with something easy. I'll have some toast, pancakes, and... Oh, a glass of OJ. Sure thing, coming right up. Chef Jimmy's the best chef in the whole camp. This will be easy peasy. Don't <laughs> worry. Good luck, Jimmy. Wait, what did she say? Toast, toast first up, okay. Let's see, everyone knows that to make toast, you start with bread and put it in, what's it called again? Toaster. All toasters toast toast. Toast. Finished. All right. Uh, next up, what did she want? Orange juice. Awesome. Let's see. To make some orange juice, you need oranges. That's right. Of course, oranges are yellow. Everyone knows that. Ugh, this is gonna take forever. By the time I'm done, it's gonna be dinner time. I'm gonna need to speed this up a little. Let's take a more hands-on approach. I don't know. What do you think? That still might not be enough for a full glass. Let's use a little shortcut, shall we? Let's pour a little Gatorade in. Ellie will never know the difference. Looks like a perfectly good glass of orange juice to me. All right, and last on the menu was, was it French toast? Waffles? Wait a second, pancakes. I got this. And next up, add some water. Some people like chocolate chips in their pancakes, and so do I. So let's add some of that. I don't know if we have any chocolate chips though. A chocolate chip cookie, of course. It'll be exactly the same, only better. And let's pour it into the pan. Mmm. Strawberry food spread. I got it, let's do some pancake art. We'll make a smiley face. And give him a big smile. Mmm. That's gonna be just like everyone's faces when they're eating it. I think it's time to flip. Let's see. Mmm. Looks good. And let me get the OJ. I feel like I'm forgetting something. The toast! It's a little bit well done. Didn't I put two pieces of bread in? Oh, there's the other one. They look nice together. Oh, Ellie, your breakfast is ready. Chef Jimmy made it special just for you. Thanks so much, Jimmy. Ta -da. Oh, awesome. Is this chocolate? Bread or is this? No, it's regular bread, it's toast, just how you like it. Oh, <laughs> and this is also toast? Yeah, mm -hmm. I figured I'd give you some options, you know? Gotcha. Oh, and is this the pancake? Yep. Mm. Mm, it looks delicious. What's, in what's inside there? Some chocolate chips and uh, some strawberry jelly. Oh, interesting. Um, Looks good, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Don't forget your orange juice. Oh, my orange juice, of course. Wow, it looks just like a highlighter. Yeah. And it's yellow and not orange. Huh. 
So it is. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pass on this because I'm not hungry after all. I think I'm just going to wait till lunch. <laughs> Hey, Coach Rocco, do you want this breakfast I made for Ellie? She says she's too full. That looks delicious. I love my toast extra crispy like this. Mmm, <laughs> that is scrumptious. See, I told you, Ellie. Mmm, I'll wash it down. Oh, no! <laughs> That's tart. But I, I love tart. I love it. <laughs> and check out this pancake. Mmm. Let's try this. Good so far, Jimmy. <laughs> I told you I was the best chef at camp. Uh, oh, oh, whoops. <laughs> Whoa, Coach Rocco. <laughs> oh, that's good, Jimmy. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, I should have you make breakfast more often. Sure. Coach! No! I mean, uh, I can do it. It's no problem. <laughs> I love cooking breakfast. If you insist. But lunch, that's going to be made by me. Yeah, if it's this good. I'll start planning. Uh, Jimmy, need some help? <laughs> and he's super cute and cuddly. There were so many pets at the animal shelter, but I wanted this one. Whoa. Hey, did I hear a cat? Oh, hi, Jimmy. Yeah, mm -hmm. me, Butters. Butters is my new cat. <laughs> hey, Butters. You know, I got a new cat, too. I bet Butters would just love him. Oh, awesome. Butters, did you hear that? You're going to have a brother or a sister. <laughs> Let me go get him. Voila! My new kitty! Oh, no. <laughs> Say hi, kitty! I don't think Butters likes her kitty very much. Uh, what's its name? Stinky. Sometimes it gets so stinky that it stinks up the whole house, so Stinky sounds like a good name. I've never seen a cat like that before, Jimmy. I know, isn't his white stripe just the cutest? Aren't you the cutest kitty? Jimmy, I think that's a skunk. A skunk? No mm -hmm. way, really? Ah! Stinky! Oh! Stinky, I told you not to do that anymore. Now I gotta give you a bath. Actually, maybe I better take one first. Bad Stinky, bad Stinky. <laughs> Ugh. Stinky really got me good. P.U. Hey, Jimmy, have you seen Butters around? You see, when your skunk sprayed you, Butters got scared and ran off. And I can't find him anywhere. I've looked all around the house. I hope he didn't go outside. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, Ellie. But don't worry. I'll help you find him. It'll be like a game of hide and seek. Let's go. Butters! 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 I have an idea. All cats love to eat, right? So why don't I go get Butters' food bowl? I bet if we put a little food in it, he'll come right out. That's a great idea, Jimmy. Butters must be really hungry by now. This might actually work. I'll be right back. <sighs> Butters! I'm gonna get your food out, Butters. Just you wait. Where's that cat bowl? Here? No? Nope. Where could it be? Butters! Gotcha! Cat bowl! Check! Where's the food? Hmm. Butters! Aha! Uh -huh. Gotcha! Perfect! Hey, Butters! Oh, hey, Jimmy! Voila! I got something even better than cat food. Cereal. Huh. But, Jimmy, isn't that a little strange? Have you ever seen a cat eat cereal before? No. <laughs> That's funny, Ellie. But everyone knows cats love cereal. It's what I give Stinky every morning. Oh, oh okay. I guess leave that cereal right there. Ah, Jimmy, I'm going to go search around the back. Why don't you make some flyers that we can pass out to all our neighbors, okay? Flyers. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. What's this? Somebody left a random 
bowl of cereal out here. <laughs> Thank goodness I carry around my lucky spoon. <laughs> my lucky day. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That hits the spot. Butters! Butters! Come on out, Butters! I sure hope Butters didn't go into the scary wood all by himself. It's too dark and scary for a cute little cat. Come on, Butters, where are you? Hey, Ellie, any luck finding Butters? Nope, no sign of him. Well, don't you worry, because I just finished making the flyers. Once we get these babies up, everyone in the neighborhood will know to look for the cat. That's awesome. Lost cat, if found, return to Ellie Sparkles. That's great. Wait a second, huh? that's not Butters, that's Stinky. Yeah, about that. I didn't have any pictures of Butters, but I had lots of pictures of Stinky, so I just threw one on there. It's very good to have a picture on the poster. Jimmy, Stinky isn't a cat, remember? He's a skunk. Oh, yeah. Well, he is missing, though. After he sprayed me, he ran off, and I can't find him. Okay, I mean, it's good to get the word out anyways. Why don't you start putting the flyers up, and I have another idea I'm going to do. Sure thing. There's only one thing that Butters likes more than food and cuddles, and that's his cat toys. I have all his favorite toys here, and hopefully I'll lead them from the wood back home, and he'll make his way back. <laughs> Let's start. Butters, consider yourself rescued. Huh, I'll be so lucky to have a friend like me. I really am the most helpful kid around. toy comes right over here. I sure hope that he finds his way back home. I'm super worried about him. Oh, hi, Jimmy. All done. Perfect. Now let's go inside and wait. I'm getting hungry from all of this looking. Me too. Let's go. Jimmy! Now, where did those two get to? What is this? Hey, it's a toy! <laughs> oh, another one! <laughs> oh, oh, wow! What is this? Hello, hello! Oh, look at this! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> it's a treasure hunt! Look at all of them! <laughs> mine! These are all mine! Oh, what is this over here? <laughs> uh, lost cat, if found, return to Ellie Sparkles! It's a cute <laughs> Let's go look for them! Come on! Oh, Jimmy, do you think we'll ever find Butters? I'm just afraid because we've looked everywhere and he may have gotten lost in the woods. Well, don't say that. We haven't looked everywhere. How about the refrigerator? We haven't checked there. Oh, not in the fridge either. I'm sorry, Ellie. It's all my fault. It's okay, Jimmy. I know you never meant it. Did you hear that? A meow. Sounds like it came from the freezer. Butters? Nope. Not the freezer. No, it's not coming from the freezer. I think it's coming from the den. Let's go! Butters? Butters, where are you? Butters? I can hear you. Wait. <laughs> Butters, are you under there? See, what did I tell you? It's like I always say, all cats love cereal. <laughs> oh, Ellie! Huh? Jimmy! Hi, Coach Rocco. I came across a missing cat flyer outside, and uh, 
It brought to my attention that someone is missing a very special kitty. Well, yeah, there was butter. No so need that. to explain, Jimmy. Coach Rocco has taken care of everything. And here is your special friend. Oh, no. Stinky. <laughs> oh, no. Run. What? what? What do you mean? I thought you wanted the kitty. Oh. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Naughty, naughty kitty, you don't spray Rocco in the precious, precious face. <laughs> smells, smells bad. Naughty kitty. I'm on the way, Coach Rocco. Ellie Sparkles. Is Ellie Sparkles here? Coach Rocco. Oh. Ellie Sparkles, I've been looking for you. We've been waiting. What are we doing today? Today's camp activity is the hide and seek challenge. And whoever wins this wins the prestigious hide and seek badge. <laughs> and we've already started. Jimmy's hiding. So that means you have to go and find him. So you're it. We've already started? Where do I even look? The camp is so huge. Wait a second. This is Jimmy we're talking about. I know exactly where he is. Follow me. You mean you think you know where he's hiding without even looking? Are you sure? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every time I played hide and seek with him, he's only ever hidden right around here. I wonder what's behind here. <laughs> Come on, Coach Rocco, help me out here. Ugh. Oh! oh. Hey, she found you fair and square. And that means now Jimmy has one hour to find you, Ellie. So on your marks, get set, hide! Awesome! <laughs> you won't find me, Jimmy. Yeah, right. I'm gonna find you right away, Ellie. Uh, Coach, can you let me get out of the so I can find her? All right, let's get started on hiding. We're gonna find the best hiding places ever. Hmm, I'm gonna start hiding in my room first. Ah, <sighs> Jimmy's gonna look in here probably, but we're gonna find a super secret place and play a little trick. Ready or not, here comes Jimmy. So I admit, Ellie found me pretty fast, but I'm better at the seeking than the hiding part. I know exactly where to look for her. Anyone in there? Check this out. Oh, Ellie, it's me, your best friend, Jamie. Anyone in there? Gotcha, huh? Oh, I see. So you're hiding in your closet then. What? Nothing in here either. Oh, well, if she's not in her closet, I guess she must not be in her room. I'm just going to leave then and gotcha. Huh? Pillows. Oh, very funny, Ellie. Trying to trick Jimmy. Very funny. Well, it's on now. I still have plenty of time left to find you. Whew, that was a close one. Oh, I thought that she was going to look behind the bed. But then, I remember, Jimmy's not very good at hide and seek. <laughs> Time to find a new hiding spot. Ellie, come out, come out, wherever you are. Hmm, she's not in here. Let's check in another room. She's in that room. There you are, Ellie. Huh? <laughs> hmm. Where could she be? Jimmy's all the way upstairs. Let's give him a clue. <laughs> hey, do you hear that? It's the TV. To the living room. Aha! I knew it! The TV is on! Oh, I got you now, Ellie. You're so caught! Hmm. Where is 
machine. Aw, oh, come on. Very funny, Ellie. But you know the camp rules. You're supposed to turn the TV off when you're done watching it. If you don't come out right now, I'm definitely telling Coach Rocco about this, and you're going to be in big trouble. I mean it. <laughs> Where could she be? Hey, that sounds like the sink. To the kitchen. Shh. Huh. Maybe she's over here. <sighs> Where could that Ellie be? Oh, I bet she's in the cabinet. There you are. Oh. I don't like this game. I picked a really easy hiding spot for Ellie, but she's not playing fair. I need a break. Ah, this is exactly what I need. Tortilla chips. Once I eat a few of these, I'll have the energy that I need to finish the game. Ah, just a few chips and then back to finding Ellie. There you are, Jimmy. I'm looking all over for you. What are you doing eating chips when you should be out looking for Ellie? Okay, hey, Coach Time is running out. You're running out of time. Coach Rocco, I promise I'll find Ellie in a second. Just let me eat one chip and then I'll have the energy that I need. No time to eat now. Come on. Oh, Ellie. Always ruining my plans. I can't even eat my chips. Jimmy, you're getting close. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> A tie. Don't worry, Coach Rocco. I'm going to find her any second now. Are you sure? Look how huge this camp is. She could be hiding anywhere. There's tons of fun places she could be. Hey, look what I found. I'm running out of ideas, Coach Rocco. I don't know where she could be. Ellie, I know you're out here somewhere. Just come on out and let me find you so I can eat my tortilla chips. Now, Jimmy, give me that. You know, only Coach Rocco can use the megaphone. Yes. Now, time's running out. Stop playing games and get back to hide and seek before you. Forget it. I give up. I already looked everywhere for her. I'm just gonna go jump in the pool. Oh, just let me get my favorite float. All right, if you say so, Jimmy. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Oh, you got me! Oh, oh, Ellie, I found her, Coach Rocco. Look, I found Ellie. <laughs> and just in time, you had three seconds left. And since you both found each other, Ellie, you win a hide and seek badge. Yes. And Jimmy, you get one too, since you're both winners today. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Easy peasy. I told you that I was the best at hide and seek, didn't I? I knew I was going <laughs> to find you this whole time. In fact, I knew you were in the pool the entire time, too. Uh uh. You weren't in the pool the entire time? No, I mean, I was in my room first, and you were there, and you didn't even find me, and I was under the bed, and then I turned on the tap water, and you thought that I was in the kitchen, but I wasn't in the kitchen, and I was also, I also turned on the TV. You would not believe how silly you were. You thought that I was all, in all these places, but I actually wasn't. <laughs> oh. Versus nighttime villains game? <laughs> Me and Jimmy are going to spin the PJ Masks wheel to see which team gives us the most surprises. Will it be the Heroes team with Catboy, Gecko, and Owlette? Or will it be the Villains team with Luna Girl, Romeo, and Night Ninja? I don't know. Let's find out. Are you ready to spin? <laughs> Three, two, one. That's one point for the Nighttime Villains team. Don't worry, I'm sure Romeo left us a super nice surprise. Let's check it out. One, 
two, three, smash! Awesome! I can't wait to see what this present is. It says, to Ellie from Romeo. To Ellie? How come you get to open it? Oh, Ellie, could I open it instead? Pretty, pretty please with the cherry on top? Okay, Jimmy, you can have this gift, but be careful. Romeo can be kind of tricky sometimes. It might be something like slime. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, see, no slime. It's just a, a wig. Huh, this kind of looks like Romeo's hair. Let me try it on. Jimmy, I think Romeo tricked you. You look just like him. Awesome. I feel like the smartest scientist ever. Wow, this is so cool. I'll see you in the science lab, Ellie. What? The science lab? No, Jimmy, we have a game to play, remember? Time for spin number two. Are you ready? Let's go. It landed on Owlette. Not only is Owlette the only girl in the PJ Masks, but she's also one of the strongest and smartest superheroes I know. And she can also fly. Imagine being able to fly. Fly higher than a balloon. Even higher than a birdie. Hi, birdie. Oh, even higher than an airplane. <laughs> From this high up, you can see all the way down and see if anybody needs any help and swoop down and save the day. Don't worry, I'm coming. <laughs> Time to see what Owlette has in store for us. It has to be better than what Romeo left for Jimmy. <laughs> Three, two, one, giant smash. <gasps> oh wow, look at this everyone. It's the PJ Masks Hair Jet Toy. Awesome, I've always wanted one of these. Look, <laughs> this is the fastest jet that the PJ Masks have ever had. The nighttime villains have no chance of catching up to the heroes when they're using this. <gasps> wow, it's just like in the show. The wings expand. Oh, there's a missile launcher. Wow. And a cockpit. Come on, Catboy, let's go for a ride. <laughs> hey, where did it go? That was weird. The villains and heroes are tied at one point each. I wonder who will spin for next. Three, two, one. It landed on Gecko. I've always wondered what it would be like to be Gecko, to have big, strong Gecko muscles. <laughs> and to also have Gecko camouflage powers. <laughs> Look at me, can you see me? <laughs> Here I come. I'm back. I love super camouflage powers. <laughs> Let's see what Gecko has for us. Three, two, one, giant smash. <gasps> awesome. It's Romeo's lab playset. This must be where Romeo does all his science experiments. Cool. <laughs> it's huge. There's a working claw. There's a lab charger. And Romeo has a bunch of tools in here too. What happens if I press this? Hmm. One of those pesky PJ masks is getting a little too close to my lab. <laughs> Echo. No problem. Use the laser shield. No one can go that. Oh no! Romeo's up to no good. Oh, and the seat spins. And there's even a laser, lights and sounds. Travel too! <laughs> this toy will go perfect with my air jet. Speaking of my air jet, where did it go? <laughs> Is 
still don't look finding that air jet. Hey, wait a second. Where did the lead plate set go? I turn around for a second and it just disappears. Oh, I wonder what's going on. Time for our next spin. <laughs> Even though all our toys are disappearing, the heroes are leading the villains two to one. That means if we land on another hero, we win the game. <laughs> Let's spin. <gasps> it landed on Catboy. And that means one, two, three heroes. We won the game. And do you know Catboy's superpower? That's right, it's super cat speed. Do you want to see how fast he can run? Yes. Faster than that. Even faster. Come on, even faster than this. One, two, three, go! See, didn't I tell you that Catboy was super fast? And speaking of Catboy, let's see what he has in store for us. Three, two, one, giant smash! Whoa! This is the biggest toy yet! What is it? <gasps> it's a transforming two-in-one mobile HQ! Awesome! This must be at least three feet tall! That's almost as tall as I am! I can't wait to open up this one! This two-in-one mobile HQ is super cool because it can transform from the PJ Seeker into a working vehicle elevator! This is HQ. It can fit one, two, three different vehicles. See, there's Catboy right here. Owlette can go all the way to the top. And Gecko's down here in the bottom. Look at what happens when I do this. It opens up. Wow! Owlette can fly off. Catboy can slide all the way down, or all the way across. And Gecko right here at the bottom, also driving off with them. Not only that, the PJ Seeker can capture villains. Lights and sounds all over this thing. This thing is so cool and so huge, it's three foot tall. And it's got wings, of course. <laughs> this toy is so cool, I've always wanted to have a PJ Seeker all to myself. Oh, and there's a little jail in here that I can put my Romeo toy in. I wonder where I put it last. I think I might have put it in the... Romeo! I mean, Jimmy! I mean, why do you have my lab playset and my air jet? I think I know what's going on here. Jimmy, are you back? Wait a second. What's going on here? My head feels kind of funny. Hey, are those the toys? Wow, they look so cool. Who won the game? Was it the villains? Oh, wait, no, I bet it was the heroes, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was... What about, uh, what about Luna Girl? What did she get? Oh, and oh, Alette, what did she get? Oh, and, Alec... oh, these two toys are just the coolest. I told you that Romeo's the coolest one. What did he get? Oh, I, I, I think that you got, the, you got what Romeo had. You turned into him. You don't remember at all? No. My head does feel kind of funny, though. I think it's that wig. I think you put something in there. Oh, what did Gecko get? 